Hello and welcome back to the darkest dungeon. Since our party that we just took into the dungeon, Phil Frey, AT, the Dark Tower, uh, still need to recover from uh, from the last expedition. I figured it is time to uh, bring up yet another party. So, Mozart is going to be our frontline, um, accompanied by Vavil, Kosan, and last but not least, Edgar Green Poe. So you already know the vessel. She's going to be our new uh, healer in this group, but a couple of new um, classes. We have the Shield Breaker in front, and the Shield Breaker is really a class that focuses mainly on ignoring protection. She has a lot of um, skills that allow her to still deal damage against highly um, armored uh, targets. Uh, and she uses Blight and, um, and direct damage for that. Also, she's super mobile. She's accompanied by the Jester, who... Um, so, she falls under a damage, uh, so DPS category. She's accompanied by the Jester, one of my favorite classes. Very strong uh, healer, uh, a stress healer. Uh, probably the strongest in the game. Who also, on top of that, has a lot of uh, damage abilities which i absolutely admire uh, he has a high mobility and around the jester and the shield breaker um, you can build parties that are so-called dance parties because they dance from every um, every position to uh, to every other position they are super flexible in changing positions and can deal well with being scrambled the class itself is phenomenal i i really like it we do have the bounty hunter uh, which is a very straightforward class, probably with uh, the um, uh, with the main ability to just dish out a lot of damage, uh, specifically with the melee uh, uh, with the melee skills that he has. But it's also a stunner on top of it. So with the flashbang, uh, he can be quite devastating and mark, so partially also debuffing. Um, so we have stun, we do have stress reduction, we have a lot of DPS, and we do have heal um, plus. Um, some backup stuns from her, which means the party is almost set. We have um, we have some extra stress res uh, stress heal um, uh, with our camping skills, which I appreciate a lot. And let's jump right into it. We're taking our usual loadout here. There we go. Let's embark into the darkness of the Warrens. The group is a level zero group and we're taking yet another medium mission. Whenever I have the option, I prefer medium over short runs. Uh, not only because they give three instead of two experience, but also you can use the camping skills and therefore uh, get rid of uh, uh, many of the wounds that you would normally suffer. We need to fight 100% of the room battles, which is something that we easily can, uh, can do. It starts out um, Paid for with um, some curios at the very uh, beginning, the and I think the we're going to like, go into a kind of a circle-ish fashion. The only thing that this group is not particularly good at is scouting. The bounty hunter can somewhat scout. But I wouldn't say that's an absolute strong suit for uh, for him. Another one. So, you can already see that we dish out a lot of damage. Almost all of them died in the first turn before we, uh, before they even could react. And there's a nice ability of the Jester, which is called a Finale. Um, it only works in the first, uh, in the first uh, position. It will move him back to the really very last position, and then he slowly but surely begins to, um, begins to move um, to the front again. Uh, with uh, with his skills, but that's that finale before it was nerfed was the core of every dance party because it has a, an incredible high uh, damage um, fixed damage buff on top of it. So nowadays you can only use it once, but when I was playing the game the first time, you could use it as often as you were able to get him into the first position. He just had a little bit of a debuff, but it it really didn't matter all too much. So. I remember it as an extremely strong ability, 
you could almost one-shot every single enemy uh, with it except the ones that were uh, that were having a super high protection their formation is broken Maybe nowadays it's still a good ability don't get me wrong but it's probably not as strong as it uh, was before we're going to use some stuns and you can see that the stuns are already uh, shuffling the enemies substantially. We're in the recovery phase. One of the potential negative aspects of this party is a lack of um, a lack of tankiness. But really, when you kill the enemy faster than they can kill you, that is not too much of a concern. of war can be healed, but never hidden. Right. Continue the onslaught. Easy first uh, first uh, fight. Party works out very well so far. But surprisingly enough, we haven't had any room battles. We just had battles in between. What the party will probably excel at is uh, the stress healing that they can do. Both with the Jester and uh, the camping skills, we should get out of this dungeon uh, without much, uh, much stress whatsoever. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. So this guy's going to die next turn automatically. So, let us move back and heal some of the stress, shall we? So part of the recovery is also you can change positions and once the gesture is in a uh, is in a position towards the back line, he can uh, play a tune which is called Inspiring Tune. And the Inspiring Tune is a solid stress reduction, flat out 10 stress reduction. Mount. I like the dance parties. I was uh, playing them quite often because I like the idea of shuffling around the group uh, and not being automatically hampered uh, once you are in a in a bad formation. There we go. Get another little bit of stress rate uh, this we have found two rooms by the way uh, where there are going to be battles so we're definitely going to engage both i'm not sure if there are more rooms here two sound and like an awfully low number hmm So this guy is bleeding for five, which means he's going to die next turn automatically. Or maybe even this turn. Let's try to kill him this turn. Yeah, there we go. Grievous injury. Palpable fear. Compared to the, our other group, this group here has, of course, less healing because we are not running two healers in the group. So we'll need to consider that in our stabilization phase. And you can see that the tankiness is a problem once 
once we're getting hit more often. She's only having 20 hit points. And maybe backline access, now that I think about it. We can access position 3, but position 4 seems to be more difficult to access. Yeah, maybe that's a slight disadvantage as well. Precision and power. Self-healing could be a thing here. But the characters that we have chosen do not possess any self-healing, so I don't know. This expedition at least promises success. So we need to heal anyways, which means might as well eat up. The Bone Altar, 100% um, uh, 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 percent uh, buff uh, with plus 15 damage, 10 accuracy, and 5 critical. I like that one. Might want to give it to our Bounty Hunter. I like it. That's a lot of damage. Let's take some more healing. So yeah, you can already see. Can't even out heal it with. Uh, we can't even out heal it with uh, food. In radiance, may we find victory. That's going to be an interesting battle. We'll maybe be forced to uh, to to rest after this battle. Specifically, wanted to uh, to use um, uh, grand finale at the very beginning to make sure that that we can kill as many of them as possible. Specifically, the stress-inducing ones. Gosh, that's death door. So this is now very dangerous. She is on death door, which means together with the one damage per round, um, if it would be her turn again, she would effectively uh, need to make a saving throw against death. And this is what happened. It was her turn. So that was a very very dangerous situation to be in, and we haven't resolved. Uh, we haven't resolved the blight. I need to cure it with uh, the anti venom. So yeah, starting out that low, now brought us the death door penalty, and it's good to uh, to see it as well, so you can appreciate it. So with the death door penalty, her accuracy, damage, speed, and her stress intake uh, all move um, into a direction which we do not want. So the more often you are at death door, the more difficult for for uh, for you to to effectively deal damage. And keep up with the uh, fight. So we're finding ourselves in a situation where everyone is being injured. And really our backline axis is not good. You can see it. Position 3 is fine but we we are having an issue with position 4. And we need to kill this guy fast. Because as you can see, we're almost at the point 91 stress. 
Well, it starts being terribly high. So let's stun him. Let's try to heal as much as we can. And kill. So there is no question we definitely need to rest after this battle. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Which means that's a perfect opportunity for us to tr test our nice resting close, skills. In tenuous firelight. So first, everyone got a decent chunk of healing. Next up, let us double check what we can do. So first of all, all companions gain minus 15 stress and a buff that prevents further stress from them. Secondly, We prevent a nightly ambush and heal because she has a mortality debuff. Next up, we pray, which will give everyone yet another uh, buff. And that should be it. I think we can't do anything more now. So our stress level is decent again. The mortality debuff will fade after, uh, after we successfully finish the dungeon. So that won't be much of an issue when we uh, when we get out of the dungeon for now it's just a little bit of a debuff so we we will be fine with it the stress reduction of the party was great that worked out pretty well and i'm not 100 percent sure why we're getting ambushed because Hmm. We had an option to not get ambushed, so I'm really surprised that that happened. Let's make the best out of the situation. We are low on um, we're low on health, so let's try to kill most of them. In the first uh, round or first two rounds and then keep the remaining ones stunned to just regain some health they deal a lot of damage though that's two da uh, two damage per round uh, she's not going to die however our jester will most likely unless we heal him Gosh, I hate nightly ambushes. Need to make sure that we're not hitting this snake, because she's currently guarded and she has repost active. Alright, we can't just bypass her apparently. Ah, that looks terrible, guys. We're at death door. Vistas of emptiness reveal themselves. And we're going to be at death door with her as well. The very precipice of oblivion. And what just happened is she went over the stress level. Which effectively means... Uh, with being abusive a death denied for now oh, wow um well i am not 100% sure what happened being uh, drawn to the uh, the dream land there because we haven't been ambushed but yet we uh, but yet, uh, the effects of what happened there were permanent. Wow. That's going to get them almost to death door. And now the true test. 
Hold fast. Or expire. Yeah. We can't go on if we continue to move. The Jester might even die. So, we need to abandon the quest. Ignorance of your enemy and of yourself. Sometimes it's better to flee and fight for another day. We almost broke even. We received no um, XP, of course. We almost broke even um, with the money that we uh, that we used. We got a quick reflex. This is a really strong um, quirk. Minus ten bleed resist doesn't matter. Let's. That's an okayish perk, uh, okayish quirk. A fresh irritant. But the party that we just uh, that we just used is now in a terrible condition. <laughs> ah, much to my dislike. Let me fix that, guys, and we'll be back with the next video. I need to put some of these um, folks into rehab, as they are severely severely injured. All right, take care in a second.